I don't know. Shoot. I don't know what I want to say. In order to successfully put on a performance, you know, or put on a show, you have to take up space in a room and you have to allow it to be a situation where people are listening to you and you have to be comfortable with that and you have to feel like you have something to say that's worth worth listening to and like you have to feel worthy in this way of being heard. I feel like it's taken me a long time to feel like my writing was good enough to feel comfortable with that. And that's also why I'm very conscientious about what I say in songs and what I leave out of songs and just can feel very powerful to allow myself to take up that much space and to uh, allow myself to be loud, I guess. I think I'm naturally a thinker and I see everything from multiple perspectives and that's sort of been a, a weakness in life but also a, a strength where I just really interested to write a song where I can encompass all the different truths about a situation or all the different ways which I see something because it feels like that's the way things actually are and I don't really understand you know, popular music that seems so sure of, of something. You know, popular music tends to sort of present like a fantasy that's very simplistic, which is, can be very joyful and very, uh, a lot of fun. But, you know, why, why only express that? And there's thousands of other experiences that there are no songs about. I feel like every day has a multitude of experiences or insights or emotions that I would love to write a song about. You can you can start on that high note every time or what you did was also really cool. Okay. Yeah, that was awesome. That was easy. Do you wanna do it again? We don't even have to. Yeah. I, think, I think actually the notes are okay. Maybe I'll try that. Can you do it one more time? Yeah, one sure. One, two. I remember the subtlety of canyons back on the roadside. A cut. In the rocks as I was passing, just a glimpse as you go by. I think that note's the strongest. Yeah. If there's something you always are choosing, you may not recognize. Oh, if there's something you always are losing, something that's That's awesome. You know, I'm always really curious to know how, how people have lived their lives or how they've managed to adapt to a situation or to, 
in the case of other artists, I tend to feel like how, you know, I want to know how people have been able to deal with, you know, being human. Music is just a really simple way to talk to people, and it's a very sort of intimate and lovely thing. I feel like when you listen to someone's music and when they're they're good and they're they're not afraid to be truthful and you know they're not careless about it it's like you know that person becomes your companion and that music becomes your companion and you understand something about how someone else sees the world or how they see their own lives and that's a really powerful thing this like moment in my life or in this year like just a very strong determination that I can't really put my finger on why it's there but I just feel kind of intensely determined all the time and I feel really excited to be doing what I'm doing and I feel lucky that I get to do it. Mm -hmm.